Hi, welcome back to another episode of Testing the Tips, where I, the average golfer, test out some of, uh, well, some of the best golf tips out there from the leading golf YouTubers. And this episode comes from Danny Maud. And what he says in his thumbnail is 99% of golfers don't understand that. And I can confirm, Danny, that I was one of those in that 99%. There is no doubt about that. Now, the title to this video is The Secret to Great Ball Striking. And we'll explain how Danny gets us to that position very, very shortly. But when I watched the video, it very much resonated with me on a personal level because of, for years when I played golf, I always thought my, uh, my swing relied on good rhythm, uh, tempo and timing. And when those things were good, I played well. And when they weren't, I played bad. And that's always been the sort of what my mentality was. After watching this online lesson from Danny, I'm questioning whether or not it was about rhythm and timing or whether it was about sequencing. And understanding the fundamentals of the sequence of the golf swing is key to getting those bits right. And that's what Danny explains really well in his video. And hopefully I can relay that back to you and how it's no doubt helped me. Now the video starts with an explanation on how we start the swing and how we get into that sort of backswing. Seems very, very simple and straightforward, but for me, Danny explains one of the sort of the dangers or the pitfalls that a lot of golfers fall into and they start the backswing with their hands. That's something without doubt that I start to do. And it shouldn't be that way. It should be started with the motion coming from the body and the hands follow and the club follows. And I think for me, it's very much a vice versa situation. And then when you get to the top of the backswing, and we effectively start the downswing. Once again, for me on a personal level, I've got this issue where I'll start the downswing with my hands again. And they'll often be in sort of a cast motion first of all as well, which is a bad sort of setup. So I'll get to here, cast a little bit, and then start the downswing. Once again, this explanation shows you that the sequence of the swing itself starts with movement from the body, club follows into the top of the backswing, and then the backswing starts or into the downswing starts with again, movement from the body first and the club follows. And Danny explains how we get that sequencing right. And this is the first stage at trying to get those movements into some kind of order. Right, okay, so this sequencing starts with, we'll forget the ball for the time being, golf club in hand, out in front of your feet together. And there's a simple movement, it's a one, two step. And this starts off with your rear leg, step to the back, and I'm gonna do it, I'll do it in sequence, otherwise I have to stop and that's not a good idea. And it's one, two. So it's feet together, one, two. So one foot goes back, one, two, next one goes forward. What that'll help us to do, it's the motion in which we're gonna start the swing. So we're gonna go onto the back foot, into the back swing, back onto the front foot, into the down swing. But for the time being, all you need to do, and trust me on this, is just that simple motion. So it's one, two, okay? Then what we're gonna do is on the, back, on the step backwards, we're gonna introduce a golf club and you're gonna start your swing with that motion. So what happens is if I'm at address, I make the step back, then the golf club follows. Now currently, in terms of a weight distribution for me, if I was stood in a sort of fixed position where I'm at, I would start with my club, head and hands, then my body starts to turn, the body would follow. The key to this is that the body leads and the club head follows. And at the moment, a lot of us, and I would be in that uh, category, the club head starts and the hands start and the body follows. So it's a complete reversal of that. But just back to the, uh, this, this first stage, first of all, club at address, yeah? One, then two is for me, again, this is how I count it. It's one, two with the club to follow, and then three is the step forward, and then four is the downswing. So are you ready for this? Let's have a go and see if we can get the sequence right. One, two, three, four. And it's quite quick that, so the one is the step forward, two is the back, three, and then four. And that's the sequence. So it's gotta be weight to the rear foot, club head follows. That's, the, that's effectively the back swing. Then it's a step forward, which is three, and then the club head follows in terms of the downswing. Now, I hope you all got that, because trust me, I watch this video time and time again of Danny's because I struggle with that sequence. And if I'm honest with you, if it wasn't for Hannah's assistance behind the camera, 
We broke it down into four steps, not into three. I think Danny's explanation is one, two, three. We broke it down into the four different steps and it worked for me because I was struggling to understand it and I couldn't get the sequence right. So one, two, three, four. Got it? I can only do it in a quick rhythm. Let's even do it just a little bit slower. One, two, three, four. And I think then what he's asking you to do is hit short controlled shots and carry on trying to get that sequence of movement right. So if we were together, it's one, two, three, four. And all you're hitting really, probably a little bit longer than uh, Danny would have wanted us to do, it's just that controlled shot just to drill in that sequence. And like I said, trust me on it, it takes a long while. Well, it took me a long while. I've spent a good hour trying to get this right. It seems a very simple process, but for me, that stepping back, we broke it down, like I said, into four movements, not into three. And the count was one back, two the club head follows, three forward, and then four the club head comes through and you start into that downswing and the follow through. That's the first stage. Practice that element, get that sequence right. And now we'll move on to stage two. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, so. Right, so after much effort, like I said, in trying to get this sequence right, you've seen me hitting some shots there. Sort of, like I said, half shots. I've got seven iron in hand. Um, and again, it's controlled. It's feeling that sort of sequence, that rhythm. And that's the bit that I really did struggle with, like I said. But the next stage really is just to simply amplify those movements to take it into what effectively you want to be as a full swing so we do exactly the same but the steps become bigger and you're using the ground a little bit more because the whole thing in all of these lessons and sort of the fundamentals of the golf swing and what I found is by using that ground a little bit more using the legs and the body like I said in this case to start the swing but also again using that ground again to sort of drive down into the start of the um, into the start of the downswing as well. So we just all we do is address the ball. It's one, two, three, four again, but it becomes bigger. So I'll take it as a practice swing first of all. The swing becomes bigger. It's one, two, three, and then four. Now I'm just counting these really quick, but I hope you just see. For me, I really struggle to sort of step and lift this foot, this front foot. So for me, it's just a slight movement or a shift of weight. And again. Whether that's right or wrong, I don't know, but I can't lift that foot and move it forward. And the only thing I would say with that, it's great as a sort of training motion to get the sequence in right, but I almost find it better in the next stage I'm gonna to get to, which is addressing the ball in a normal position without the movement, if you like. But anyway, let's try this whilst the camera's on. So we're at address, fairly close together, and we'll go for one, two, three, four. And that's a really decent strike, to be honest. So that's our sort of full swing. And you'll see there, we sort of got in above that sort of 140 odd carries what I'm sort of seeing. Much more building, like I said, and you'll see the other overlays that we've got, how we started from that sort of lower end and sort of got that movement going. Keep watching that back and keep trying to count that tempo. That's what I found really difficult. And like I said, added in an additional count for me on a personal level so like i said it was that that one two three four but i'm going to try one ball now which is really like i said where it counts which is at the kind of address position and all that changes really is obviously there's no step we're in that position but it's the weight shift and it starts from this front leg into the backswing so into the backswing and then let the club head follow into the backswing let the club head follow and then it's back down into this left foot then the club head follows into that downswing. I hope I'm explaining this right, because like I said, it's very much my interpretation, but it's very much me understanding that my own sequencing was definitely, it's definitely out, and there's no doubt about it that uh, the hands would have started, and again, instead of me drilling down and then, or pushing down into that um, front leg, transferring the weight into that left leg, quite often, like I said, my hands would start the backswing, the downswing rather, and then my body would follow. So let's have a go with a shot on thingy. So weight over to the back and then back through and down. It's a really great strike, th uh, strike on the ball, decent ball, decent ball flight, but it took a lot of getting used to this. And it even took a lot in terms of me translating it into a video. I'll be perfectly honest with you. 
And if we'd have done this video at the start of the day in the first hour, I really struggled with that sequence. But what it highlighted to me was that just how poor my sequencing is. And I've by no means mastered it in this uh, few hours that we've tried to put this video together. But it's given me, like I said, a better understanding of where it should be. And it's without doubt something I will definitely take in terms of to the practice range and something that I will concentrate on when I'm on the tee and that sort of shifting of weight, making sure that my weight is starting to get over to that left side before I start to drag that club in to the downswing. Right, did my very best. That was a tough one to explain. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made sense. But I think as ever with all these, the best way to understand it is by watching Danny's explanation and uh, seeing if you can sort of marry the two together. And like I said, You've got to use your own interpretation. Like I said, Hannah counted a different sequence and we ended up counting four uh, sort of movements within that, uh, within that tip and it helped me. And that's what you've got to do. You've got to take elements from it, bring them to your own game, res see what resonates in the brain and uh, try and adapt it a little bit. At least that's what I've done anyway. Right, as ever, thank you for watching. Comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this uh, continued series of me testing the tips. Love your feedback. Let me know if you give that one a try. I'd be interested to hear from you and I'll see you all very soon.